Hi friend, Heidi Black here and wanted to share with you, I spoke on a call this morning and I had several people request that I kind of recap what I covered. So these six timeless steps for breakthrough, lasting breakthrough in 2016 and beyond. I'm talking about being a biblical entrepreneur. I've shared a little bits of my testimony of, of how I came to a very rock bottom place several years ago. And I can tell you that I've tried to do life in my own strength, in my own ways, in the ways of the world and, and conforming to the ways of the world. And it's very painful, it's very destructive. So what I'll tell you is what I know is doing life without God is just not an option for me. So step number one is having a personal relationship with Jesus. Really, without that step in place, that foundation in place, all the other steps really don't matter. So with again, that in mind, step number two is clearing the baggage. Because as I shared on the call this morning, you cannot have, you cannot experience the fullness of a relationship with Jesus and the fullness of, of your purpose and what you're here to do if you have, you know, unforgiveness, resentment, uh, all kinds of things, jealousy, soul ties to people that you've had relationship with that you should not have had relationship, adulterous relationships and there that are creating baggage and are keeping you from the fullness of living out your purpose and your relationship with Jesus. So that's number two. And I gave a specific resource on step number two that I found extremely helpful in my journey and in healing through some things that I've overcome over the years. And that's a ministry called Sozo. It's a prayer ministry called deal with some of the stuff that has been holding you back and cause you to create some of the patterns in your life that have been destructive for you. And step number three, let God be God in your life. You know, Jesus paid it all on the cross. He paid for your freedom, for you to be free from the world, free from your struggle, free from um, your past, free from yourself. And what I know is that God's truth and power in every area of your life can be transforming. So when you are in alignment with a healthy relationship with Jesus, you have access to power and authority that's not of this world. And you can dream God-sized dreams, which I'll talk about in a moment. In fact, I have a suggested resource on step number three, and that is a book that I found extremely helpful in the area of prayer and creating transformation through prayer in your life, and that is The Circle Maker. As well as if you have children, Praying Circles Around Your Children, both of those books by Mark Batterson. Step number four is know who you really are. Okay. I personally believe that we're created in the image and likeness of God, that, we have that, that he created you to have a relationship with you, to give you a very rich inheritance, and to really know who you are. Um, you know, there are a number, a number of things you can do to really get that, but one thing I found very helpful in my journey is reading the book in the Bible of Ephesians. That'll really help you to begin to understand what you have access to and who you really are as a child of God. Now, I'll caution, if you read the Bible and you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, it's just gonna seem like another book to you because there's something that, that there's a definite connection and the Holy Spirit and, and God can speak through the Bible to you when you have that relationship. And that does not exist when you're just reading it as any other book. Number so, five is establishing your core values. Now, this is like your compass for life. Uh, and I'll tell you from personal experience, when I did not, I was not clear on my core values and who I was, who I am, I made some very poor choices. Because in the world's perspective, when you're maybe coached or mentored by someone in the business world, they'll tell you to, to determine what you want. And oftentimes, if you don't have those core values established, what you want are very selfish things and very uh, destructive things, ultimately. And they seem in innocent enough, but who's being affected by your selfish actions and behaviors that are based on what you want without having a compass and core values in place. So establishing those core values is critical. There's a resource I'll share with you. In fact, our pastor, Pastor Keith Kraft, wrote an incredible book that's been very helpful in, in helping me and my family establish our core values for our family, for ourselves. And that's a book called Your Divine Fingerprint by Keith Kraft. Step number six is now dreaming God-sized goals with all these other steps in place, having that relationship, clearing the baggage, um, letting God be God in your life, knowing who you really are, establishing your core values in that compass. And from that standpoint, you can dream God-sized goals. There was a time when I, I didn't want to dream anymore because when I had dreamed without all these other things in place, I created a reality that had me not liking myself very much. In fact, I didn't want to dream anymore. I didn't want to set goals anymore because when I did, they became very, very selfish and destructive. So once you have these things in order, you can, from that standpoint, create and live out these God-sized goals 
and, and he'll give you vision. And what I, I shared on the call this morning, you know, from a place of knowing who you are and what you stand for, establish your God-sized goals for 2016 with your heart and mind renewed in him and to him. You have access to the supernatural authority and favor and ability, resources, and all these things. It's all God's. He created it all. So you have access as his child to all these things, and he wants to give it to you. But what I know and I've experienced and I'm grateful for is that he loves you. He loves me. He loves us too much to give us these things before we're ready to receive them for his glory and his purposes. When he knows we're going to be destructive, we might we might experience in our own strength a a success for some time. But like I began the call, what is the fruit of your success in your own strength ultimately? Maybe your bank account looks great. Maybe you have a big, beautiful home. Maybe certain things look good. Maybe your body and th things are, are looking good from the outside. But what is your relationship with your children? What do, how do they feel about themselves? I'll tell you one of the things I know when I was in my destructive patterns years ago, my relationship with my boys was affected negatively. And I am still rebuilding that trust with them because there's something that children are very intuitive and they know. They know when things aren't right. They know when there's something that is off and there's a disconnect in the family. And there's a very much a spiritual aspect to that. And if, if, that, if those things have happened in your life through various, you know, because of things you've done, you're going to have to correct those things. So again, dreaming God-sized goals is possible and being excited about establishing sustainable, lasting, eternal impact when we have these things in order. So now, you know, with that in mind, we get to go boldly and be a part of his story. I love that. You know, we're, we're, we're making history, but it's his story. And his story and history are spelled the same. Pretty cool, huh? So I hope that's encouraging to you as you go and establish your goals for the coming year. Keep those things in mind. If you have the desire to be an, a biblical entrepreneur, not just a, a business person, but someone in the marketplace who is living out God's plan for your life, God will honor that. And it's, it's very exciting. There's a lot of peace and joy in it. And, and doing this is not easy. I, I'm going to tell you that fighting the good fight every day is not easy, but it's so worth it for this generation and every generation to come.